Okay, today I'm going to be showing you how to write on water. Okay, so in order to do this trick, all you need is a glassy or very smooth surface with no pores. You need a dry erase marker and some water. So first draw what you want to transfer onto the water. The guy holding a balloon. And then you let it dry, then carefully pour some water. There it goes. The balloon's taking him up. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> He's shaking that balloon. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Oh, his balloon broke. <laughs> okay, so it works. The warmer water you have, the better it works. See how it pops it up and it floats on top of the water. There it goes. And even pick it up. It's way cool. So the reason this is happening is because the main ingredients in dry erase markers are alcohol and a release agent that is made of silicone oils. And when you write on the glass surface, the alcohol evaporates and it leaves behind just the ink with the release agent in it. And the water repels the silicone oil. And so the silicone is less dense than water. And so the water can slide right under the silicone oil and then it just floats to the top. And so the ink and the silicone oil stay together in the same layer and it, the water just slides under it and you can move it around on top of the water. So what's really cool about this is that using this method, you can transfer it onto your hand or transfer it onto your skin. So for example, see, now he's on my hand. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> So what's cool is you can also erase things off the water and you do that by grabbing it and pulling it up as a string and it looks like it's back tracing, erasing the marker off of the water. It's really neat. Okay, watch it come out in one string now, hopefully. Whoa, look at those lines getting drawn in. <laughs> oh, almost. So cool. It's like it's erasing it off the water. And then this is what I'm left with. So you can crumble it up and see that whole thing is reduced to this tiny amount of volume. Hey, thanks for watching another episode of The Action Lab. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're not subscribed yet, remember to hit that subscribe button and you can be notified when my latest video comes out by hitting the bell button. And if you have any questions about this video or any suggestions for future videos, let me know in the comments section and I'll see you next time.